Hi everyone and welcome back to Real Handmade Beauty. My name is Nikki and this is my soap lab. Today I'm going to be making bay leaf and tobacco soap. I've already made a video of this soap in particular. However, it wasn't a talk through, so I just went through the video and you could see me making the soap. This time I'm gonna do a little bit of a talk through to show you what I use for colorants and this particular soap. And just to talk through the process with you a little bit. So let's get to the soap. Obviously, never mind. The first thing I do before I start soaping is I measure out my water and my lye and I pour the lye into the water and I allow it to, I stir it up really good, make sure everything's dissolved and I allow it to cool. Then I measure my hard oils. In this soap, we have shea butter, coconut oil and lard as my hard oils and I have castor oil, rice bran oil and olive oil for my liquid oils. <clears throat> so I measure out my hard oils uh, and I melt them down. <clears throat> and once I melt them down, I add my hard oils to my liquid oils and get them all stirred in and I allow them to cool. So that process takes um, usually about an hour for it to cool down to the temperature that I like it to be at. I like it to be at 85 or eight, between 84 and 86 on my oil. So 85 is perfect. <laughs> And um, around, this is at 79 on the lye water right now. I like the temperatures to be within at least uh, 10 degrees of each other. So this is the bay leaf and tobacco fragrance. And I am going to be using the same colors I used last time for this. I use, this is French gr green clay. <laughs> French green clay, try to say that five times fast. Bentonite clay. And then I have here titanium dioxide. This is sodium lactate. I use it to for so that my soap releases from the mold easier and it helps me to have really good hard bars. I put that straight into my lye water. You can use anything you want pretty much and not anything you want, but you can use a lot of stuff in place of uh, distilled water for your lye water mixture. I've used aloe vera juice. I've used coconut milk. Coconut milk is my favorite. Right, so now my lye water is going to go into my oils. I'm gonna move these to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead, I like to pour my fragrance oil in right away so that I don't forget <laughs> before I split my, <clears throat> before I split my batter off into, uh, to make individual colors. It just makes life so much easier if I make sure to get it all in at the beginning. I always plan for my soaps to be discolored a little bit pink because of this fragrance oil. I mean, it smells amazing, so I'll never stop using it, and everybody loves the fragrance. Let me show you a soap. This is the last bay leaf and tobacco soap that I made. And as you can see, there's like little pink spots in it. The top of it, it didn't get discolored as much as the insides did. But um, I liked the way that these colors turned out with the pink discoloration because it almost looks brown rather than pink. So I think that's why I went with the exact same colors again because I know exactly what they're going to look like whenever the soap starts to cure and, you know, after the curing process is done. Okay, so it's time to blend all this stuff up together and get it emulsified. So I don't know if you can see this, oh, the lighting is just, it's been really tough to get the lighting good on this. Can you see that? Is there too much of a glare? So there's a little bit of an oil slick. So you can see the oil separated from the rest of the soap batter. You got to make sure you mix all that in to where it's like one solid colored and no separation of the oil. And that's how you know it's emulsified. If you blend too much, it'll get 
really thick really fast so you can't blend too much <laughs> it's kind of tricky oh i think we're good now that i stirred it up a little bit oh yeah there's no more separation giving it a good stir to make sure it's nice and fluid so that everything will mix together perfectly. I will be doing the wood grain on the soap again. However, I'll be cutting it the correct way. <laughs> I'm just going to give these colors a quick little stir. I think I'm going to leave a little bit of natural soap color. That way it's not going to be exactly like the last soap. It'll have its own little look to it. So now we got to stir, 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 mix up the colors. I wonder what my kids are thinking if they can hear me in here. <laughs> good and mixed up. I'm just going to look at the bottom real quick to make sure that there's no of the white color, none of the white color sitting on the bottom. All right, it all got mixed in there. trip me up and I checked the bottom of that one to make sure that all the color that there's no color sitting on the bottom really it's more important to check the bottoms um, if you use micas because micas like to hide in the corners and they sit down in there and sometimes it's hard to get them completely mixed in especially if you put them in dry um, I found with my micas as long as I put them in oils first and then dump the oil into the soap batter that it turns out uh, it's so much easier to mix than if I just pour it in. Okay, so I am going to do, I'm gonna do the soap color in here. I'm gonna pour it in here and then I'm gonna do the wood grain technique where I go around in circles. Um, Vibrant Soap, his channel on YouTube, if you look him up, um, he, I don't remember what he calls it when he goes around in circles like that, but he's where I learned this technique of making wood grain soap. And it is so much easier than the other wood grain soap techniques that I've seen. I'm going to pour this in. And I'll save a little for the color mixing.
I have a show coming up October 3rd. I'm going to the Constitutional Rights Summit in Austin, Texas. And I have a few soaps that I'll be selling there. The last bay leaf and tobacco that I did. Because it'll be, that's what I made it for was that show. Or I guess it's not a show, it's a, a booth. Yeah. I wonder what y'all's lighting is like. Does it look good? How's that lighting? Y'all let me know how the lighting is. Leave so a comment. Well, I, as you can see, I took off my tabletop. <laughs> and now, every time I bang down my soap, it's shaking you guys around like crazy.